Hey guys, Chad here with the Reptile Rangers. Now me and Sebastian's here. We're going to talk about another topic today. This is going to be how to sex bearded dragons. Okay, now I've got the male here. I've got the female here. Now as you can see, this is going to be right out of the gate one way you can tell male from female. He's big. She's nowhere near as big as he is. Now that does not mean that females cannot get as big as this male right here. I have seen some monster females, um, some obese ones too, some very fat ones. However, generally speaking, this is a good size for a female bearded dragon. This is a good size for a male. They do get bigger in the German giant line. Um, females can be quite a bit bigger, uh, but average rule of thumb, male is bigger, female is smaller. Okay, now let's, let's go into a little bit more acute scientific methods of sexing bearded dragons. Now, when these guys are babies, one of the ways that we can do this whenever they first hatch is called candling them, okay? So if we was to take a flashlight of some form and stick it right underneath their tail or right over top of their tail, you can, in theory, a lot of the times be able to see if there's hemipenes in the tail or if there's nothing at all. Now remember the episode that we did on sexing ball pythons. Now the same concept applies. Hemipenes are in the tail, so hemipenes have, the tails on the males have more cavity space because they house the hemipenes inside the tail. The cavity space is much smaller on the females because there's nothing that needs to be in there, okay? Now, another thing that you can do to tell the difference between male and female is, Sebastian, I'll tell you what, hold this girl right here for me real quick, if you will. Now, in this particular male, Okay, and I'm going to try and get up here close enough to be able to, to at least allow y'all to see this. Okay, so if we take him, we lift his tail up right here. I know it, buddy. You want to get up there and sit. Here, come here. Let's do it this way. Let's see if it, there we go. Okay, so right there, if you can see these two bulges, okay, the hemipenal bulge, there's this nice big valley right there with these two massive bulges. That's one way of being able to tell that this is a male, okay? He will also have bigger femoral pores, okay? So right on the inside of these legs are femoral pores. Now the females can have those too, okay? Understand this. But his femoral pores are gonna be much bigger. And you can see right there, those pores are pretty good size, okay? Now, also on the males, males, where the name bearded dragon comes from, comes from them being able to turn their throat jet black just like a beard. When, whether they're mad, for dominance, for mating display, they will turn that throat jet black and they'll get the bobbing that head real hard and they'll throw that head up and down. Uh, and they'll, they're dominating. They're saying, this is my area or uh, this is my girl. Don't come in the area. All right. Now, with females, females don't so much blacken their chins up. Okay. So there's some different characteristics for the girls. Tell you what, hold the boy here. And let me see the girl. All right, we're going to start by lifting her skirt up, okay? Now, when we lift her tail up right there, it is absolutely flat. There is literally nothing but a small little hump right next to her vent. So if you look right across there, and I'm going to turn it sideways, see how flat that is? That is how you tell a female. Now, also, again, remember, she's going to be much shorter, much smaller than the male. She's not going to turn her throat black. She may some, turn somewhat grayish, but that could be because they're too cool, they're sick. Uh, there could be other issues um, going on that has nothing to do with male from female um, distinguishing. Now, when we talk about males from females, again, remember, lifting the tail up is the most accurate method. She's got the femoral pores too, but they're nowhere near as big. But the guaranteed way to tell is when you lift the tail up flat across the back of the tail, flat, is female. Lift that tail up and you see those two bulges in the shadow of his hand there with a valley. All right, yep, see the two bulge one, bulge two right there. Those two bulges, that is definitely a male. All right, by size, by adults, you can tell by the size difference, but you'd have to be able to see them side by side unless you knew what you were looking for uh, in, in, uh, in being able to do it just by size, by sight, okay? Males turn their throats black. Females generally do not, not like the boys do. It's not going to be black as like our walls here, okay? Now this, this is how you tell the difference between a male and a female bearded dragon. No. This is Chad and Sebastian. We're at the Kernersville Reptile Zoo and Medical Center with the Reptile Rangers. Write us in, hit that subscribe button to tell us exactly what you want to see. 
what else you want us to film about, medical issues, uh, housing issues, the zoo, animals here. We hope to see you on the next episode, or we'll see you here at the zoo. Later.